Here's my Radmobile arcade cabinet. Unfortunately, got a big hole in it where somebody's knocked the lock out. There's me Wells Garden the monitor. We're gonna discharge it with the cap kit, which is up there at the end of those red wires just there. Right, we take our discharge tool, the one we made earlier, the clip. Now in a moment I'll set this up and you can see how it's done. Um, there's the cat up there, you can see it just about. I've got my clamp stuck on the back there, just here. Now, what you want to do is follow the screen up to this bit here. The screwdriver will go. under this cap it's under the cap now right as you can see here now the screwdriver's under the cap you poke around until you hear a click Sometimes there's no click. Now what's happening is the electric will be discharging down to the chassis and up to the isolation box. You want to keep your hands away from it really. I've got my hand on the wood to hold the phone with the camera. Here we have it. The screwdriver has now successfully touched Right then, I've got the cap, I've got the screwdriver under the cap, you can see the cap now quite easily. I've already touched it so it's a bit safer to put your hands near it now. You pop up the cap like so. And then underneath side you can see in the middle there, a tiny little probe or a pin which goes into the tube. That's what you want to touch, so you slide that up to it. You get a little bit of resistance when you get so you touch it. With this one I can leave it in for a bit. You know it's discharged, no pop as you notice. You need to do this a few times, you need to touch the pin then do it again and then do it again about four or five times just to make sure it's fully discharged and that's it simple so recap in under fitting up to the center you'll feel the resistance click you may get a blue flash shoe out up the screwdriver you may get a click or you may get nothing but it's always best to discharge as you know, how to remove your monitor. Pull out your video cable. Right, we'll add this next step. You pull out your video cable. You might need two hands for this, but you flip the clip back on this and pull out your video. You'd undo the clips here. 
and on this one you got a flip under my light here so you make sure it's all disconnected okay your vomit is discharged and guess what it's out there it is see the state of it now that's retrieved the leads Right, <clears throat> it's getting quite hard to do because there's a lot of wires, so it's not going to come out of this particular model. This is a um, K seven six nine eight, which is seven thousand series. Right, remove the cap now. See little pins. Touch it on the side. So there's a spark. Shouldn't be nothing. Right, now I've removed the high voltage cap from the end of the tube. That saved a lot of hassle about trying to unwire all those wires. Now is this one connector for the earth lead. What goes around the tube? Up here. Let's get rid of that way, we don't want to touch that. Okay, so that's the only bit we need to remove now. Okay, so I decided to cut it with a little clean nip. It's quite a stiff wire, so it should be quite easy to repair with a little bit of solder, or you can use a connector block. Inside, it's quite a mess. Next thing to do is clean it. Okay, now we're going to recap it. What we're going to do is unsolder the bits to be unsoldered, recap it with the caps, and then it's working. soldering irons over there and we've got the board now capped starting to cut off the wires it should all look quite neat I'm not a master at soldering so this is my kind of first attempt but luckily it's big so I'm going to cut these wires off now red mobile finally fixed but the screen's still not what I need it to be little white lines on the screen they shouldn't be there okay um, solve my own problem checked online <coughs> um, on the back of the flyback you've got two switches there's one for screen and one for something else not too sure but they said adjust that and you may get a better picture so I've adjusted it brightness has come up and the bars have gone unnoticeable. The bars are still there, but still not too bad. Not visible now. Okay, work complete. One Radmobile up and running. Radmobile.